Thank you so much for joining me on another episode of Why I Love Flagler County, your local podcast spotlighting local businesses and local residents on what they love about being a part of Flagler County. So today I'm super excited to have my guest Brielle with us today. Brielle, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much for having me. I'm really excited to be here today. Of course. Well, I, I met you just a few days ago. They had the Autism Festival there in Town Center in Palm Coast, and you had a really beautiful booth. Um, and I thought this was such a great topic of what you're helping uh, you know, kids and also adults with. So I'll let you kind of explain a little bit more on what that is. But why don't we start first? You mentioned to me that you've been pretty much in Flagler, Palm Coast, pretty much your whole life. So I'd love for you to share a little bit on how that's been growing up here. Yeah, so my family moved here when I was four years old, but even before that, we lived just over in Ormond Beach. So, I mean, been in Florida my whole life. Um, I grew up watching my mom as a swim instructor, so just being around the water, um, swim lessons, water safety has been a big part of my life since being a child. Uh, once we moved here, you know, I was just in first or second grade or so, so I went through all of uh, public schools in Flagler County. I even worked at Flagler schools for a little bit of time before um, becoming here at Aquafin Swim Schools. But yeah, I mean, I love it here. You know, being in Florida, water safety is so important to me, but I just want everyone to know how important it is, especially all of those new families moving here. You know, tourism is up here, but especially people moving to Flagler County, you can see the growth is just constantly going and going. So I want families and especially their children to know how to stay safe in and around the water. Yeah. And I think it's a really common misconception too. I think there are sometimes there are people, believe it or not, I mean, like me, I don't necessarily love to swim or anything, but it was still important for my family to teach me water safety because the half of the water safety part, part comes is if you're unexpectedly in the water, you're still able to take care of yourself. You're still able to stay safe. And that happens to people of all ages. You know, you could be very young and something, you're just on the beach, just having a good time. And then something crazy happens, or you could be an adult, 40, 50. And you're like, wait a minute, I don't know how I got in the situation. So I'm so glad that that's something you guys are uh, talking a lot about. Um, so you also shared with me, so you do, a, you do a few different things when it comes to water safety. So I'll let you kind of explain and start your journey and explain to me a little bit about that. Yeah. So I really like what you just said. Um, that is a big misconception. Most drownings that occur, especially for children, it's when they shouldn't be near water. So it's not when everyone is by the pool and they're all swimming together. It's often, you know, when mom has to pick up the phone or put in a load of laundry, you know, it's those 10 to 20 seconds when you turn your head and then a child can get outside. So um, a big thing that I do is running Water Safe Inc. It's a local water and sun safety nonprofit organization. Um, year round, we spread awareness and advocate for water safety, encouraging people to, people to sign up their children for swim lessons, uh, promoting pool safety barriers like locks, uh, fences, gates, things like that. Because every extra barrier that you have to protect against drowning is just one more way to keep your child safe. But even if you have, you know, swim lessons to help your child pool safety barriers, we still always say constant supervision um, is most important. You should always have your eyes on your children. So uh, year-round water safety advocating is something we do. Something else that we do is put on an annual water safety event. So we're really excited that that will be coming up soon. I'm sure we'll talk about that later on in the podcast. Um, and then the other big portion of water safe and our nonprofit is ensuring that all children in Flagler County and hopefully statewide one day have the opportunity to learn how to swim. So what our organization does is provide swim lesson scholarships to family on a financial need basis. Uh, we don't want anyone in Flagler County to go without swim lessons. So you can apply for scholarships on our website. It's just a simple Google form that you fill out. It goes right to me. Then we can start swim lessons almost immediately. Um, we're doing those lessons year round now, which is really exciting now that there's an indoor pool in Flagler County, um, Aquafin Swim Schools. We have year round swim lessons happening for all ages, two months through adults. Um, and then our scholarships are available for children one year and up. Awesome. That, um, like I said, I'm at Aquafin Swim School now. So we opened about a year and a half ago in Flagler County. If you've lived here for a while, like me, this used to be called Fitness One. So it was one of the most popular gyms in our town. They have an indoor pool. Growing up, I even used to come here and watch my mom teach swim lessons because she rented pool space. So it's been here for a long time. Um, I know there were a lot of people sad when Fitness One closed down, but I truly couldn't think of a better, you know, thing to do with an indoor pool, but open a swim school for all ages. So I'm really happy that this is going on now. And I just want to help spread the word to help people know that 
we're here, we're here to help, and we can teach all ages. So mm -hmm. um, never too late to learn how to swim, but it's also never too early to get your children enrolled in swim lessons. Yeah. Are there any, um, you know, we are kind of briefly talking about common misconceptions. Are there anything that people might be surprised to know, like maybe how easy it is to learn about water safety? Or like you mentioned, it's never, you're never too young to learn about it. Anything like that, that you could prep someone who's maybe they're new to town and they don't really have an idea of where to start? Um, yeah, so that's a great question. There's a couple of things I would love to touch on, especially for those new people to town. Um, one of the biggest misconceptions is the use of things like floaties or puddle jumpers, water wings. So those provide parents, but also children, a false sense of security. And it puts your child in a vertical position. So you think that they're able to get air and they can swim around the pool and have fun. But what those children don't realize is that those floaties are keeping their face up. So oftentimes drownings occur because a child doesn't realize they don't have their floaty on and that that's what was keeping their face up. So then they jump into the pool or fall in and then they go into that vertical position, which we call drowning position, and then they don't have the skills to go back up. Um, so encouraging people, if you're going to be around water, using Coast Guard approved life jackets is the best choice if your child doesn't have swimming skills. Um, but staying close by and being hands on and then getting them those swim lessons as soon as you come to town, even people that are just visiting, we have a lot of people that come just for summers or even just short trips. We'll do some lessons for you on a week basis. So you can come and do your free trial class here and then even just do one or two swim lessons if you're only in town for a week, just so you can start learning those safety skills. And once you once you know about it, you know, then you have things you can work on with your child outside of here. So I really like that we have parents get in the water for our baby classes so you can learn how to help them with floating, how to go underwater. How to, what to do if your child falls in the pool forward or backwards and how to turn around and get out. So you don't know what you don't know, but as soon as you know, you have those skills to work with your child hands on here or outside of swim lessons. Um, and it's really easy to get started. All you have to do is create an account at our website, aquafinswimschool.com. We create an account, we schedule the first lesson for free to get you started, and then we go over more information from there. Um, along with that, you know, we like to talk about preventing drowning. So on the other, ha other hand, um, equipping yourself with what to do if it does occur. So if we have a drowning that takes place, seconds do save lives. So um, I always try to promote CPR training for everyone, but especially caregivers and family members. Um, so the Emergency Operations Center in Flagler County does a free training the first Saturday of every month. Or you can also do that class and just for $5, get your certification card. Um, so I think that's an awesome skill to have and everyone should know about it. Again, especially those parents and caregivers, um, if a drowning occurs, that immediate CPR response can truly save a life. Yeah, that's so great to know. I didn't know about a lot of those things, especially for the floaties, because um, I know that is a really big belief is like, yeah, I if they have this, that's fine. Like, they'll be fine forever. It's like, no. That's not usually never the case, honestly. And even if it is the case and they are safe, it's those that one percent chance, you know. It it I have anxiety about a lot of things in life. So always those one percent chances are always in the back of my head. So I think that's a great thing to bring up. Um and I'll make sure I have information for Aquafin and then the schools and then of course your classes in the description. So people can click on check on those a little bit easier. It's definitely worth checking in and learning a little bit more. So are we gonna say something as well? Yeah, no, um, I just wanted to touch on that point. I People always are, you know, are doing the what they think is best for their children. So it's often just sharing that information because you don't know that putting a puddle jumper or floaties on a child right. is going to cause more damage than keep them safe. So it's just spreading that awareness and, you know, helping everyone in our community know about it because it only takes, you know, a few seconds of answering a phone call or a child reaching in for their toy that was left in the pool. Um, So just really those little things that can save a life. Yeah, no, that's so true, especially about like, if a kid drops a little toy in the pool, I'm like, oh, I'll just go and grab it. And they're like, maybe three or four. They do love to do that. <laughs> I work with a lot of kids. And like, even when we, you know, we're on the floor, we're in a room, they drop something and like, you know, they know, or you know, they can't reach that, but they think they can. I'm like, no, just sit down. Like, don't climb all over the table. I'll get it for you. It's fine. Um, So that's a really big, uh, big point. I'm glad you brought that up. You touched a little bit on the event coming up. I'd love for you to share where it's happening, what it is, and then how people can get some more information. So we're really excited to be hosting our eighth annual Water Safe event this year at the Bell Terrace Cement Racket Club in the Peace section over on Patricia Drive. It will be on Saturday, April 27th from 9 a.m. to noon. 
Uh, we're going to have a bunch of vendors set up providing free resources and some fun giveaways. The event is free and open to the public. We're going to have some special guests stopping by, some mermaids, an otter, maybe some pirates. Um, and then the Synchro Bells will be doing some performances in the pool, along with some other safety and swim lesson demos happening. Um, we encourage everyone to bring bathing suits, towels, swim diapers for little children, and come out and have a fun day with us in the sun. Oh, that's so awesome. So I'll make sure I also have information for that in the description as well. Would definitely recommend checking that out. Sounds like a lot of fun. If there's mermaids in there, I'm definitely signed up. So that's, <laughs> I love those. They're so cool. Um, well, Riel, thank you so much for coming on and sharing a few minutes. You shared a lot of great information that I know a lot of people may not know, or maybe they've heard some things, but you know, sometimes you hear some things through the pipeline, but you got some solid information there. Definitely make sure you check out in the description on, you know, ways you can get involved and learn a little bit more. I didn't even know we had a swim school here in town. So this is a really great way to kind of learn a little bit more about different things you can do around Palm Coast. So is there any last thing you kind of like to throw out there before I wrap it up? Yeah, um, I really appreciate you having me on and just give me a platform to share with more people, you know, Tons of people are moving here all the time, so this is a great way for people to find out about what's going on in our town. But I really encourage anyone, if if you used to go to Fitness One or if you ever drive by and you're like, hey, what's Aquafin? Just stop by. If you see my car outside, come on in. I'm happy to give you a tour, show you around. Um, but yeah, I mean, swim lessons are really important. If you have any questions, we'll put our website down there as well. My WaterSafe website links right to my email address, so you can reach me directly. Uh, we're posting constantly on our Facebook page about our upcoming event. So you can like us on Facebook and see more future events coming up. Perfect. And for us who don't know where Fitness One used to be, where exactly are you guys located? We are located at 250 Old Kings Road South, directly across the street from um, Old Kings Elementary School. Oh, perfect. Awesome. Well, again, thank you so much for the time today. I really appreciate it. I learned a lot. So I'm really excited to, even though I'm not a huge swimmer, I we definitely talked about it. It's something you kind of need to know anyway. Um, so thank you again for the time. I really appreciate it. And for everyone listening, I really appreciate you as well. And I will see you next time.